wheat is obviously like such a big crop. Like it's so important. 20% of our diets are from wheat. If you look at the amount of dollars wheat brings into the global economy, that is basically number one. I don't think about my life having <laughs> wheat about every single day, so forget about a month, a year. Here, Maryland is one of those areas in which multiple diseases occur. And this is, this is ideal for a pathologist, but not for a farmer. Oftentimes, as a student who is in an urban environment, has no idea what challenges that farmers face in the field, and we as a plant scientist, what we can do to combat those challenges. Idea is to train them. We have the F sixes, sixes sevens, and DHs. For example, if they're not seeing the diseases in the real time, basically they're just talking about scab. But if they're not coming and seeing how scab is harming a particular wheat field, then they don't have that knowledge. I think ever since I started working with wheat, I've kind of been able to just like identify diseases just by looking at a spike. And I think that's just something like, I'm really proud of myself for being able to do that. I teach my students ways in which we can protect plants or can help plants protect themselves. Wow, so we are going to have a challenging day here. That is basically a fascinating part of my research and my students and team members, they see that whatever they are doing in the lab, in the greenhouses, and then they go to the field day, when they see the growers coming and showing a lot of interest in the variety that we are developing, that basically gave all of us goosebumps that, okay, whatever we are doing, we got real people who are going to use this research in two, three years from now. And then where is most of the one? What we are doing is just a small step towards a resource that can help other so farmers or other breeders to create and develop varieties which are high yielding and are disease resistant and can uh, increase the food production overall. With this changing climate, it becomes even more important to conserve our resources and to think about where exactly our food comes from.